Hi everyone, Amy here, and I have an embossed critter card to share with you today, so let's jump right in. To start, I'm going to show you a panel. This is 110 pound cardstock. It was A2 size, but it's cut down slightly. I did use a rectangle stitched die from Paper Rose, and this is an A2 size card base. You can see it's a little bit smaller and will leave a little bit of a white border. The reason I did the separate panel is because I'm going to be embossing it here. Now this is an all to new 3D embossing folder. And I am going to spritz this panel just to really help it take the shape. Now this is an optional step, but I find that it works really well with these um, embossing folders. So I do it if I'm not working with anything water reactive. So I'm just loading this up here in this and I'm going to run it off screen in my embossing folder. Here's a picture of the finished card that I'm going to be making for you. It did come together in a snap, so I have that nice finished edge from the die. You can see you can do either side, the embossed or the debossed side. It's such a cool geometric look, but it looks almost icy and crystallized to me. So I'm kind of um, still thinking winter in terms of my design as I go. And I do decide to shop my Critter book here. Now this is one of my storage systems that you may have seen me show in other videos. I do stamp and color and cut out or die cut out a bunch of critters in advance. Um, you know, when the mood strikes me to color, I'll maybe sit around and watch a movie with my little family in color. And then I load them up in this three ring binder notebook. Now these are just sheets of um, baseball protector pockets. So you can get those on, on Amazon. I will link those below the video with all the other products that I used. So if you expand below the video and scroll down, you'll find the details and the links there. But I'm just kind of flipping through deciding what I want to use. Um, I don't really have a plan in mind. I just know that I do want to include a cute little critter somewhere in the design. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> my goodness, I have a frog in my throat. Anyway, I end up deciding to go with this cute little guy. Um, I don't know if he's a fox or what he is, but he's a nice neutral color and he has a little bit of a, a scarf on. So I thought, huh, this goes with the, the little bit of, you know, cool weather, winter weather theme that I'm going with here. Cause you know, we're not quite to spring yet, but maybe we will be when this airs. I'm not sure, but right now, not to spring yet. <laughs> and now I have my sentiment book. So this is very similar to my critter book, but this is where I store my sentiments. I used to have them in one um, binder, but then I ended up outgrowing it. So I have one dedicated to my sentiments and one de dedicated to my critters. And this is an awesome um, celebrate word die that I had gotten recently from Catherine Pooler. So I'll link that below as well. But I'd use some scratch or scrap uh, pattern paper and cut out a bunch of different um, pieces of this die. So I'm just kind of picking what one I want to use. And I thought, oh, this one goes really well with his little, his little scarf. So we'll go there. Um, and then I'm just going to use some tape runner here just to attach the embossed panel down um, to the card base. You could use whatever adhesive suits your fancy. So I'm just going to line this up on the A2 size card base. I'm, you could also pop it up with some foam tape for additional dimension. Um, I like the dimension that you get from the embossing folder, so I didn't really feel as if it needed um, a bunch of extra dimension, but you do you here. So just kind of attaching that down, making sure it's really secure um, along the edges on the card base. And then I'm going to use my blending brushes here. I decided I didn't want it to be so stark white. Um, and on the color wheel, uh, blue is opposite orange, or you know, in this case, I really like to pair up teal. So I'm using teal just to kind of not only add to the icy theme of this um, embossed background, but also just because I feel like it's a nice complement to the other colors that I've chosen to work with here. So I'm just using residual ink left over on my blending brush. Um, I didn't even need to get an ink pad out, but I'm sure it's a Catherine Pooler ink that's left over on the brush. And I just kind of brush that over in the center and then get more light handed as I expand outward onto the card panel. And then here I have my tweezers here and my Barely Art liquid glue. And I'm just gonna apply the liquid glue to the back um, of this Celebrate die cut and get that all over it. And then I will probably pounce it off on a scratch piece of paper. I do like to do that. Um, just so the liquid glue doesn't kind of gush out the edges. It drives me crazy when that happens, but 
sometimes you got to use liquid glue and in this case when you have an embossing folder like this where there's a lot of uh, dimension and texture it's probably a good idea to use um, a liquid glue liquid glue and some pressure just to really make sure that it's adhering well onto that surface. So I'm just using the tweezers again to line this up just to kind of keep my fingers from getting all in the glue. And I'm kind of placing it um, somewhat centered but off to the left just because this is the composition I feel um, pleases the eye in this case. And I think it's cute having the little critter off to the side. So I'm just going to use a a stamp block here just to add a little bit of weight while that um, adheres to the card base. And I have this really, really sticky foam tape from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure, I don't think I've seen this on the website. I don't know if this is still um, available, but I will link it if it is. I'm just gonna kind of cut it up and put it um, on the back of the little critter. So he will have some, <clears throat> he will have some extra dimension, but um, overall it's not, super high profile card so just messing with these little fiddly bits and this super strong adhesive and I'm going to peel off the backer and attach it to the front of the card base. I just think that fits in so well with the direction that he's facing and the, the layout of the Celebrate. I think it worked so cute together. So again guys like most of my cards I'm just winging it here um, deciding as I go picking the pieces as I go. But with my batching compo components that are ready um, to go in advance, that allows me to just kind of pick and choose whatever I think looks good in the moment. Um, but here I'm just using some liquid glue, just laying down a few dots in odd numbers. I have three on the top and two on the bottom. And then I have these little, they look almost like water droplets. So again, going with the same icy, watery, cold theme, I thought these little bling edge would look really cute with the layout. So I'm just using my jewel picker here and just laying them down on the little dollops of glue that I laid down. And I have all different sizes here. This set is really cool. I'll link um, that below as well. But I love when there's all different sizes of the bling edge because I feel like it just adds to the adds to the design. So I have some bigger, smaller, medium size. I'm just kind of working in the layout here using the other side to just kind of get them exactly where I want them and get some extra glue that gushes out and that finishes my card. So I hope you enjoy it. I got a nice way to use some pattern paper um, if you guys hoard it like I do. So <laughs> use it to cut out your sentiments or your big word dies and go from there. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I appreciate you so much. Have a great day. Thanks.